Hello, um, I'm responding to Laokan's uh, video that he made. I've got a screen up here. I'm like looking down at my laptop, so it looks a little funny. But in any case, uh, I thought it was uh, well done, and I appreciated uh, the um, uh, the feedback on it. I am no expert on uh, Wicca, that's for sure, or neo-paganism. I'm not much of an expert on anything, I suppose. Although I have done a little bit of work, and the my work on Wicca uh, started out with a study of Santeria, and I do know Laokan, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, that they are very different in their roots and so on, but they do have something shockingly in common, and that is the trance state, the um, the Soul Journey is the book I wrote about this. The title is um, um, How Shamanism, Santeria, Wicca, and Charisma Are Connected. And the answer to that is uh, the trance state, the ecstasy. And you find it in, in most all religions, uh, almost every single religion. Um, uh, Judaism, you'll find it. Uh, in interesting um, in, in interesting ways, sometimes among the Hasidic Jews, sometimes in uh, Kabbalah. The shaman is the one who is able to go into the trance state easily and go on the soul journey. And shamanism is probably the basic uh, religion uh, that connects these. And so we have shamanism, we have Santeria, we have Wicca, we have it in Christianity too. On the far left, we find the Christian mystics uh, who pay a lot of attention to Teresa of Avalon, St. John of the Cross, and Ignatius Loyola, and uh, Julian of Norwich, and a number of others. Kind of a revival going on in some aspects of Christianity, where it is thought that this is what Christians ought to do to get out of yourself and to connect with God, to experience God. That's on the far left. On the far right, uh, we have uh, the um, uh, the wild, and I can say this because I used to be one, a wild-eyed Pentecostal charismatic who want to have the experience of God and will um, find a way, whatever mechanisms, largely through music, uh, to enter into a trance state where you're out of your mind. Uh, you're mindful, some people say it that way. You're just focused and concentrated. Uh, you find it in Hinduism a great deal. You'll find it in Buddhism. But you don't find it in biblical Christianity. <clears throat> and let me explain that the reason you don't uh, is because it is in that trans state, which is a very real state, by the way. It's not something just conjectured or we trick ourselves, it is a literal state of consciousness where you appear to leave the body and you travel on the soul journey and you encounter spiritual deities, animal spirits, power animal, spirit guides, uh, angels, and even evil spirits. People who have been, that I have contacted over the years have admitted that yes, in their, their trance state, in that ecstasy, passive state of consciousness, altered state of mind, whatever you want to call it, they do meet entities, spiritual entities. It's really an exhilarating kind of experience. <coughs> Once I, I said in a college classroom that uh, the materialist will stop being a materialist and become a spiritualist once they go on a soul journey. Because you encounter real spiritual power, real reality. <coughs> Here's my question, um, Layokan, is I'm not questioning your experience. And many of the things you said about Wicca is exactly right. I know they're the eclectic and they're the more traditional kinds. I've talked to people in both areas, the solitaires, the people in the groups, mixed men and women, and uh, just simply women. Uh, I've had those experiences, talked to those folks. But here's, here's why I wrote that book. Here's the real danger. And that is the fact that you are going to encounter beings, and they're going to become a part of you. 
They're going to become a part of your life. They're going to become intertwined um, with, with who you are, involved in your daily life. At first, as I said, it's exhilarating, but later on, it can become tormenting. And we have to ask, what are the nature of these beings? The power animal, uh, the, the fairies, the various kinds of things that uh, terms are used for. Well, let me tell you what I found that they are. They are unclean spirits. They are demonic spirits. Now I know that you're going to react against what I said, as I would too if I were in your place. Uh, to hear something this from a Christian is irritating and frustrating and maddening, probably. I say it because so many people have these. And at some point, they, they find out what they really are. And then they need to have them cast out. The magicians, the spiritualists, the mediums, they're not going to do anything for you. The exorcists are not going to do anything for you. Only Jesus casts out demons. It's always been that way. It was a, a ministry that he did, that he passed on, gave to his uh, disciples to do from the days of the New Testament to these days. I spent 10 years doing that ministry during the 1970s from people who had come out of the Jesus People movement who had become Christians and all of a sudden realized that they had something in them that was unclean, that was not right, that was evil. And so, yes, I have cast out hundreds of those kinds of spirits from hundreds of different people, continue to do it today. I have just recently written a book, well, a couple of years ago, called How Jesus Casts Out Demons Today. So this is a very real thing, and this is why I make this, because I know that it's not easy to find relief and help with this. So I'm taking this opportunity to explain my real reasoning uh, Laokin to why I wrote the book and why I commented on shamanism, Santeria, Wicca, and those extremes in Christianity. And the only people really that I've ever cast demons out of were Christians who were involved in those practices and after they became a Christian wanted out, or they were Christians who for one reason or another got engaged in this and having nothing to do with Santeria or Wicca um, or uh, shamanism, but simply in Christian practices that are not biblical and are dangerous. So this is why I make this reply, and I look forward to uh, maybe going back and forth with you. L.A. Yoke, and we, uh, I, I appreciate uh, the contact. So long.